Hi, I'm Jennifer Beals. I'm Jacqueline Taboni. I am Kay Menig. I'm Leisha Haley. I'm Leo Shang, and we're in studio with The Hollywood Reporter. My first question is for our executive producers and original cast members. Um, I was wondering, what did it take for you to decide to come back and do a new revamp of The L Word? About 12 years. Yeah, planning I can, and well, the organizing. decision, it was a, I think it was a gradual process. I think we were, you know, surprised that nothing had taken its place really um, early on. And then, and then the conversation, you know, grew gradually about how to bring it back. And if we could. Even pre like reboot, the reboot craze, it was a conversation we kept having with uh, Eileen, the original creator and the three of us. And we're like, no one's doing it. Why? Why? You know, we, we need the stories need to be told. I mean, back then um, when we ended, gay marriage wasn't even legal. Yeah. So, so many stories to be told. But we also felt like the original show uh, ended rather abruptly. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we and, and, and we all wanted to work together again. And like Alicia said, we didn't know what a reboot was. We, we thought we don't know what that looks like because making a film version of that wouldn't make any sense. Um, so that's why it took a good 12 years to Think, figure it out within all the discussions we had among, among each other, right? Mm -hmm. And it was exciting, and actually, and to have that amount of time go by because you have this new generation that's come up that's you know refuses to be categorized, that you know is is uh, insistent on self-identifying both gender and sexual orientation, and that's really exciting to have these new conversations. I mean, when any generation can start completely, you know, changing the lexicon of how we talk about gender and how we talk about sexuality, um, you know that you're in a really profound moment of change. And so I think it's a perfect moment to come back. Mm. Yeah. And Jacqueline and Leo, were you fans of the original L Word? Max was the first trans man I had seen anywhere and had any exposure to. Um, I'd only known a few trans women in my life and I didn't, like it just didn't click that I could be me the way mm -hmm. that makes me happy. Um, and so that had a huge impact on my life. It's been such an honor to be part of that, honestly. Yeah, I was watching uh, from the first season. I was sort of sneaking it. Uh, on there you go. <laughs> you were one of those. Uh, Illegal yeah, yeah, DVD uh, swaps. Uh, yep. <laughs> Hide it from the parents. Yep. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was such a huge fan. And it's really cool. Um, you know, it sort of like gave me the permission to dream of being an actor, seeing these three on TV. And I have to thank you guys. I don't know if I've ever done that, yeah. but um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it's sort of a dream. Every day you thank us. All yeah. the presents you leave at our trailers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's so sweet. It's so sweet. <laughs> and it means a lot to us to be able to, um, you know, be helpful in that way. And what excites me is that. Now you are the cast, and now you will do that for somebody else. Exactly. You know? Yeah. Well, you know, that's a, that's an interesting question. There are going to be some queer kids who this is their first introduction mm -hmm. to the culture on television. Uh, what do you hope for them for the first season, like people who are watching the show for the first time? I, well, I can speak for myself. Um, I when I was young, I had no representation on television. I had nobody. I mean, uh, Joe on Facts of Life wasn't even gay, but it, she kind of like yeah. rang true to my soul. And I was like, yeah. so, I mean, for someone like me, I was always searching to find a connection on television or in movies, and I just didn't. So I get the impact that a show like this has. So I hope that it just continues for a long time. And, and I hope this isn't the only show in the end. I hope, you know, people take our place when we're done with this. And I think there's a vast like landscape to fill. With. And that's part of the reason why we felt so uh, emboldened to bring this back was because there was nothing that ever took its place. And you know, you'd think within the 10 years we were off the air, they would, there would be. Well, let's talk a little bit about the first season, uh, what to look forward to. Jennifer, Bett is running for office. Uh, were you inspired by any politicians in the realm right now to like to kind of move forward with that storyline? No, actually, we, we had thought about that quite a while ago, mm -hmm. you know, and we thought it was the natural uh, progression because Bet had had always been political in a way, even with the um, art shows that she had put together and, you know, testifying to Congress. Um, you know, there was always an aspect that was political and it's precipitated by certain um, momentous 
personal events in her life. And uh, Kate, um, Shane is such a memorable character. Um, how are things going to be different for Shane this season? Oh, well, um, <laughs> Shane is no longer 20, right? <laughs> so she's had to grow up a bit. Uh, I think, you know, you are who you are at your core. You might mature a bit, but that doesn't really change. However, uh, I don't like talking about this because I have to be so coy and I don't like being coy, but I can't give things away. Right, right. right. So without giving anything away, I can just tell you that she enters back into this world um, with a bit more responsibility. Than and, money. I and, mean, and, that's and, <laughs> and, kind of and, obvious and, with the plane. Yeah. yeah. And then also, <laughs> but um, I think bigger uh, things that hold more consequence than she had in the past. Uh, and just be patient. You get to episode four and, you know, it'll cease up a little bit. Um, but uh, I, that's my cryptic way of saying she's grown up, but, you know, she's still <laughs> got to figure it out. Yeah. Alicia, you have kind of a play within a play going on because you're mm -hmm. running your own talk show. Yeah, I have it all figured out. No. <laughs> no. She's a Sally um, Jesse Raphael. Oh, wow. <laughs> Poor Ellen. Poor Ellen. Yeah. yeah. No, um, no, Alice, like, was always a careerist to me. She, you know, just, like, was building, you know, her, her blocks there to get to the top and had her blog and her radio show. And um, so now she has her own talk show and... Um, but has a certain idea of what it sh she wants it to be like opposite of the network. And and her personal life is pretty pretty damn exciting. I'm excited for people to see mm -hmm. that because mm -hmm. she's, you know, a very open, experimental person. So She's a pioneer. Oh. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she goes through some stuff. Nice. It's fun to watch. It's, it's very exciting to hear that people are going through stuff on a show like The L Word because you know that you're in for a, a fun ride. We're here to entertain. I mean, that's what it yeah. is in the end. It's a television yeah. show, you know? Yeah. We don't want to take ourselves too seriously. You can't, you take yourself too seriously. You lose the point. Yeah. <laughs> so as a local Los Angelian, um, I know I should be jaded because I live in Hollywood, but it is so fun to watch the East Side locations. Mm. Uh, what was it like kind of shooting shooting locally? Well, we oh. came from Van shooting the series in Vancouver for six years. Okay. So we never really got to utilize the place the show takes place in. So it was fun to shoot at home. Yeah, um, It looks like the show. You know what yeah. I mean? It looks like... It looks like L.A. Yeah. Whereas before, yeah. you know, we, they did a good job. They Hiding the mountains and the pine the, trees. <laughs> well, it was a snow-capped mountain. Yeah, exactly. so it was like 20 feet away from you at all times. <laughs> <laughs> and lakes, a lot of lakes. When I first moved to LA, I drove around to try to find the planet. <laughs> oh, you did? So long. And when I started the show, I think you told me, you were like, oh no, we filmed in Vancouver. I was like, oh, uh, that's God. Right. God. <laughs> <laughs> you could have just that's simply Googled the planet. You would have seen that it ever existed. <laughs> no old address or anything. So, my last question to you um, one of the things that the original L Word did was it brought people together. Uh, people used to have viewing parties at gay bars all over the country. If there are viewing parties for the new L Word, and I have a feeling there will be, would you pop in for a surprise visit? Oh, that would be so much fun. Yeah, Absolutely. I mean, yeah. we yeah, used to do that fun. all the time. We'd yeah. show up at we places and watch them. We do that before they realized that they were even viewing parties. Yeah. <laughs> we were just getting together because they, that, that bar had cable and they and everyone wanted to watch it. So, and we would yeah. sneak in and everyone was none the wiser. We'd just yeah. sit there and watch with everyone. And yeah. it was... We don't have that anymore, mm -hmm. but it was great back then. It was. I'm getting tagged in invites to all these viewing parties in New York mm -hmm. and L.A. and Chicago. I mean, I, I don't know. It's definitely already started. It's happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's happening. So fun. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much for being here. We're thank really excited thank you. for this new season. And uh, you can watch The L Word on Showtime.